Starting things off with the all-time teams, we have the Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. You heard me correctly. We are starting the all-time teams. I plan on doing two of these per week. And we're going to start with the first team that is listed on MLB The Show. And that's the Baltimore Orioles. Needless to say, there's not a whole lot of current players on this team. We really just have Trey Mancini as the current only active Oriole and I guess Chris Davis if you count him. All jokes aside though, this team is actually really good. They've had some great players in their past. We have Brooks Robinson, Cal Ripken Jr., Eddie Murray, Adam Jones. We have um, Roberto Alomar at second base, Matt Wieters. Then the bench looks like Nelson Cruz, Luis Aprasio, Jonathan Villar, Manny Machado, which I really wish we had a better Machado to do this with. And then Nick Markakis. There was other diamonds I could put here, but in my opinion, Nick Markakis has to be on an all-time Orioles team. And then for the pitching staff, we got Jim Palmer, Jake Arietta, Alex Cobb, Andrew Kashner, and John Means was an all-star this year. I don't know why he doesn't have a better card. And then our bullpen, not the best. We got Tanner Scott, Brad Brock, Pedro Strope, Darren O'Day, Michael Givens, Diamond Zach Britton, and then Lee Smith. So I think this is a pretty good team overall. Being this is the first all-time team video I'm doing, let's go ahead and lay some groundwork. The criteria for being on this is you really have to play at least like three years or have two really good years or be an all-star or currently be with that team. Like I'm sure there were some guys like Vladimir Guerrero is a perfect example. He had one year um, which he even has an impact veteran card for the Orioles but he didn't do all of that well so one year nobody really remembers Vlad as an Orioles so that's kind of how I'm going to be doing this. I want guys that were really good for that team and if you just played one year at the end of your career that does not make you on the all-time team as always make sure to leave a like down below if you guys do enjoy the next one will be the boston red sox make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when that video goes live we're undefeated in ranked seasons currently this season what better way to f it up than use the orioles here we go in this one very concerned what pitcher we get we get silver andrew cashner against cole hamels there was not many good diamond starters that the orioles had he's got a hell of a team we're in for it my guy what are these uniforms they literally look identical to mine except a different shade of aquamarine it's like when you ask your friend for help on your homework just change one thing so it doesn't look like we cheated Trey Mancini gets a hold of that one, but you know what that means. It's just going to be an out. I've recently heard a lot of talk about how the game has played a lot different in the past week or two, uh, ever since there was a patch, so I kind of believe it. This is without a doubt going to be the hardest part of doing these all-time videos. If a team doesn't have all that many diamond starters, this is going to be hell and a half. 0-2 pitch right here to Tony Gwynn, slow roller, Roberto Alomar, we need a good play, let's go. Signature, Willie Mays up against Silver, Andrew Kashner, let's see how this one, he really swung at that pitch, huh? Maybe it's not going to be that hard after all. I mean, let's be real, I'm not really one to talk about play discipline, but that was in the dirt, he didn't even have a chance, Vlad Guerrero wouldn't swing at that shit. First time using signature, Eddie Murray very excited, he destroys this one into the gap, they don't even take a chance of running that, burn of those extra cows, home run. Adam Jones, I think we got another one, no doubt, animation up over the waterfall, I guess you call it 2-0 back to back, baby. Chris Davis might beat this shift right there, that's gonna fall right in front of Tony Gwynn, so Glad that we don't have the 2019 Chris Davis out here. Jumping all over Cole Hamels so far in this first inning. Matt Wieters hits that well. Not a great reaction from Willie Mays. We're going to test it. Ground rule double. Andrew Kashner, two runners on. This would be a big opportunity. He actually hits that pretty well. Is that a warning track shot? Not quite. 40 speed. Willie Mays has hella arm. I'm actually kind of concerned. Uh, we're safe, I guess. Great service as always. Come on, Robbie. Job not finished yet. Got to cash in one more once again. Heading towards the gap. Not going to get to that. Just an extra base machine. Would you believe it? The Orioles are kicking this team's ass. Trey Mancini going to have another one. He's flopping like a fish out of water. I don't know what kind of hallucinogens he's on. 87 speed. We get in there. We're cashing in another. 
Karakin Jr. High fly ball easily gonna get to that one is Tony Gwynn five runs in the first inning this is a pretty good start. There we go. We have a nice cushion for Andrew Kashner, so I don't have to worry about him throwing a perfect game out here. One, two, slider, two tatsies, punch him out. Oh, man. That's such an awful fastball. You know he hit that right on the nose, too. That's actually gone. Okay. I was going to say, if I caught that ball, I kind of feel disrespected. He molly -whopped that. Eddie Murray hits that well right on the nose. Just going to fall in front of Willie Mays. I really have no earthly idea what the hell has gotten into me these last few gameplays, but all of a sudden I actually know how to swing the bat. You think I would have injected myself with gamer steroids, otherwise known as G Fuel? Just before I do a gameplay, just drink a whole shit ton of that lefty lefty crying from Chris Davis up back. See you later. Seven runs. On to the next one, we got Andrew Kashner again. Hey, he didn't pitch that bad last time, but then again, the player wasn't that good, so yeah. I really might regret this. Fastball up high to Roberto Alomar, destroys it. Luckily, Adam Jones can track it down. Finest Javier Bias has been insane for me, Chris Davis. I'm kind of shocked. I really didn't expect your big ass to get over there, so props to you, man. Thought all those human growth hormones would slow you down a little bit. Finest Bregman gonna leave a slider right there for him. Gonna strike him out. Cashner low key. Pretty good. Rio count to Robbie Alomar right here. Swing at ball four. Gonna work the walk right there with Kowarikum Jr. Bring it up. Eddie Murray one runner on two out. My mans just cannot throw strikes right now at all. High and deep to center field. That's up. That's back. That is a center green fly out. 0-2 curveball to Griffey. Cal should be able to track that down. This is one of my favorite things about the team. Alomar, Cal, and Brooks Robinson all diamond defenders. Oh, man. Did not like the look of that slider out of the hand. It did not like the result of that slider out of the hand. Easy two out double for Jimmer. All right, Kashner, now's the time you gotta prove yourself against the pizza man to keep this a 0 0 ball game. Gonna try to mix rhythms with the changeup. Not going to work. Gonna watch that for ball four. Juan Soto coming up. Fastball right there to him, and he missed it. Thank you. God, easy fly ball. One thing I've noticed from my opponent, he definitely throws a lot of balls. And one thing I've noticed from myself is I swing at him sometimes. Fastball, Javier, bias, easy fly ball. Three innings, Kashner doing pretty well. Unfortunately, now it just can't hit. Or maybe we can, Matt Wieters hits that high deep and that is... Are you kidding me? Like, am I a joke? Robbie Alomar not going to get past Frank Thomas. Our offensive woes continue. Oh, no. Two-seamer to Bregman. That is a very no bueno pitch. Not a chance Chris Davis is getting to that one. And it should be an easy double. Slider coming in to Griffey. We are not going to get to that one in the air. Bregman is not moving for some reason. But it's going to be runners on the quarters. Nobody out. And now Andrew Kashner is in true 2019 form. Curveball to Frank Thomas caught too much of the plate. Easily going to tag in from third base and get the first run of the ball game. Change up right down the middle to Jim Edmonds. My lord. We hit right on the meter. The cashier stats are so horrid. It don't matter. 3-0. And the worst thing about this is we have two relievers that are above silver. Slider to Juan Soto. We're gonna catch that. He gets three in this inning. We gotta hope we can start swinging the shtick a little bit. Trey Mancini hits it hard. Bregman does not catch it for some reason. Doesn't matter because 50 speed is slow as molasses in January and he's out. I don't really know what it's going to take to get this stick production up right now. Maybe some Viagra or maybe me just being a competent hitter. But things gotta change. This one is hit hard. Please do not be caught. That would be very unfortunate. Gonna get past Griffey. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, we get our first base hit of the game. Eddie Murray, that's going to get up the middle. Definitely one of my favorite hitters on this team. Get one run back easy RBI single. Really want him to throw a fastball up to Adam Jones? He did, but I didn't hit it. Full count pitch. We're going to work a walk with Chris Davis coming up. There we go. 
Chris Davis hits that well goal and get on your horse. Griffey's not getting to that. What are you doing? Whoever is at second base, my good God. What is going through your pea-sized brain? I was holding down L1 that entire damn time. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to come up clutch regardless unless Griffey can get to that. No, he is not. Another extra base hit. Matt Weeders, 3-0 count. We should have waited. That's going to get out of the inning for him. We tied it up, though. Nice two-seam. Never mind. Not a nice two-seamer. Home run. Oh, god damn. Just took the words right out of my mouth. Easy ground ball. He takes the 4-3 lead. Top of the order once more. Robbie Alomar, a little floater that should be caught out there in left field. Ugh. Michael Givens is up from the bullpen now. I don't know how Griffey hit that ball that well. Just going to be right out of our reach. 84 speed turning to third. Going to get in there pretty much standing up. Unfortunately, I can't show you the swing timing because it just disappeared for some reason. Maybe MLB The Show saw it and was embarrassed and didn't want me to broadcast it to y'all. But he was early on that swing and it was a fastball out of the strike zone tailing away from Griffey. Another issue is I just don't have that many lefties in my bullpen. We got Britton and Tanner Scott. Please, let's go nice scoop. Jim Edmonds not that fast. Gonna turn two. See if we can't plant a slider right there. Juan Soto is going to extend this inning. Two runners on. We just cannot get out of this inning. Tony Gwynn. Oh, that really should have been a base hit. That was not a good pitch by our part. I can't do anything. We had one good inning. Otherwise, I don't think I have a hit in any other inning. Nice fastball to Robbie Alomar. Adam Jones going to get to that one. If we can keep this game where it is at a two-run lead for him, I think we can still come back, but it's not going to be easy with this putrid bullpen. Two-seamer right down the middle once again. Mancini should be able to get to that nice running catch. Chris Davis hits that hard, and that is going to fall. So we get a leadoff single. Hopefully, we can build off of that now. Brooks Robinson, single other way. There we go. Two back-to-back -back singles. This is looking good to open things up. Huge at bat. Full count, Matt Weeders. Don't even have to think about that one. Saved him for this moment. The boomstick. Base is loaded. Ooh. He hit him. Damn, okay. I mean... I'll take it. Roberto Alomar single right there is going to tie this one up. Base is loaded. Still nobody out. Trey Mancini. We are just keep singling the other Bruh. way. And we lose connection. He rage quit. Bro, you probably could have beat me. Damn. And we get another win up to 719 as our rating still undefeated so far within this season. The Orioles all-time team. Who would have thought? Not me. Really happy with the performance. I think just about everybody hit really well. Andrew Castro was good enough and we were able to get two dubs. But if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hope you guys have a great day. There goes out. Yeet.